Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Vanguard patch notes official video here on the channel. If you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click on that bell to all so you don't miss out on my next video. And let's go ahead and talk about these patch notes that came out with update 109 for Vanguard. I hope you guys all have this update downloaded to your console. If you guys don't have it on Xbox or PC, you guys should have this update by midnight. So let's go ahead and get right into it, shall we? So Treyarch Studios made a tweet today saying tonight's Vanguard patch includes tuning plus bug fixes for purge, multiple covenants, objective portals, weapons, challenges, UI, audio, stability, and much more. Check out the notes at the Sledgehammer Games blog if you guys want to get a glimpse of the patch notes. I'll leave a link of it in the description box down below. Now moving on, we do have a tweet by Sledgehammer Games making a tweet today saying a patch is deploying in Vanguard at 9 p.m. Pacific time tonight. Seasonal challenges are tracking. Riot Shield has been fixed. Panzer Fust challenge has been modified. And they gave us a link of the patch notes in the description box. Like I said, I'll put them there if you guys want to check them out. So for multiplayer, for stability, using Daniel's alternative skin will no longer crash the game. Seasonal challenges, progression for seasonal challenges is now visible, active, and tracking. So it's a good thing that they fixed the seasonal challenges within update 109. Let's go ahead and continue with the weapons. Now for bug fixes, the right shield now blocks front facing damage and bullets will not penetrate. The firefight blueprint has been fixed to remove light coming from the front end of the barrel and parts of the optic. Car 98 Hunter Incentive skin no longer causes the gun to aim down the iron sights instead of the attached scope. Top brake muzzles no longer jump on reload. Corrected loadouts using 7 round mags so the total ammo count is divisible by 7. They address multiple issues with charms and a quality of life pass. Weapon animations have been polished and some glitches have been resolved. So that is what the bug fixes are for the weapons in this new update. For balancing, we have challenges. Panzerfaust challenge has been changed from destroying aerial streaks to long shot kills. For weapons like the Car 98 and Type 99, when using a lower caliber magazine, these weapons will now retain the ability for one shot kills when landing chest shots. Top break no longer reduces damage, but range reduction increase. For the anti-tank rifle, the default scope will no longer heavily obscure player vision when meleeing with the bayonet. Attachments, melee range has been reduced for bayonet when reach kit perk is applied. So those are the changes that they made within the new DLC weapon for the anti-tank rifle. For camos, we have double barrel, corrected wording in the death artist challenge to say 16 gauge mag instead of 12 gauge mag. Assault rifle alpha, camos now show proper progression, the M1 Garand. Camels will now show proper progression, so they fix those progression is issues. Cross progression, Master Ribbon's data from Cold War will now be imported and reflected in Vanguard. Getting kills in Warzone now counts toward challenges in Vanguard. So that is a good thing that they did within cross progression. That really helps out when people are trying to grind out their camos. For kill streaks, Mortar Barrage. They increased damage dealt by the Mortar Barrage flare. Mortar Barrage has now been tweaked to make deployment less difficult. So they made a couple of fixes within the mortar barrage. They increased the damage dealt by the mortar barrage. So they basically buffed it in a way. So moving on with the patch notes, we also have maps like Paradise, Radar, Desert Siege, Red Star, Berlin, Numa Numa. Uh, we also have these other two maps. We have Subpens, uh, Castle. They basically just fixed a bunch of exploits out of the map, glitches that people have been uploading, and many other fixes. Now for modes, we have Control. Control is now live, Champion Hill. Players will no longer crash out of Champions Hill duos, resulting in the closure of the entire game. Damn, that's crazy. Players can now access scoreboard and spectate mode. UI and UX users will no longer get errors saying that they don't have crossplay permission when attempting to add other consoles to a party. Players now appear with every prestige level up and XP bar should reflect prestige progression. Duplicate prestige icons have now been fixed. So just a bunch of bug fixes within this new update that they have done for 109. For campaign, they fixed the progression blocker in the Lady Nighting Gale level caused by an unresponsive character. So we have some campaign fixes right here. You guys are seeing that right now. So let's go ahead and talk about more of these patch notes because this will be an eight minute video. So I hope you guys all watch the whole entire video. Let's go ahead and talk about zombies. We have objective, we have purge. Visibility improved in low light areas, making it more visually clear when capturing control rooms. The progress bar no longer overlaps various notifications such as completing challenges, rank ups, weapon level ups, and more. Professor Craft will now acknowledge purge objective completions. 
So that is what the fixes that they have done within the new objective purge. Moving on with Covenants, we have Brimstone. Brimstone no longer damages zombies when the player is down. Brimstone has been adjusted to now only deal damage to zombies that are in the player's line of sight. Dead accurate launchers now work as attended with the dead accurate covenant now for swift vengeance they updated the description of it and also down below knives now work as attended with the swift vengeance covenant so those are the two fixes that they did within that as well now moving on for weapons they address an issue where weapons obtained from the crates briefly display the wrong model when dropping address an issue where some mystery box weapons would appear with their magazine detached from the weapon that is bad uh, we also have addressed an issue that prevented players from loading into a match with their preferred custom reticle. They addressed an issue that incorrectly identified some launcher damage as critical hits. These are the bug fixes for weapons that they have adjusted within update 109. I'm happy that they're fixing a lot of bugs within this game. You need to pay attention to all the things that they're fixing here. So for gameplay, we have portals will now provide players with an opportunity to visit each destination before giving an option to return to the same location. Close various exploits that prevented players from taking damage from zombies like the glitch you're watching in the background right now is probably patched right now. Challenges, melee camo challenges have been adjusted to count kills, not eliminations with the exception of these challenges right here. For UI, zone names have been added in places where they were absent from the map. The in-game scoreboard now shows the player in the correct ranking. They addressed an issue with overlapping scoreboard UI. A lot of UI changes and fixes here as well. We have audio, subtitles, and text. We have fixes for those and audio issues. For stability, they address an issue that would sometimes kick a player to the main zombies menu when copying and replacing loadouts. And they also have various stability fixes. So those are all the patch notes for update 109. I just covered every single one of them with you guys here on this channel. So it seems to me that Sledgehammer Games have done a ton of bug fixes and problems that people have been having within Vanguard. Hopefully the game is a little bit more better within this new update. Truck Studios basically said here in this tweet, the holiday cheer is coming to Stalingrad and zombies for Durang Fang 2. See you on the 16th, which is tomorrow because today is the 15th of me making this video. There is nothing you guys are going to do that is going to top Cold War Zombies Christmas event. It was way better. There is nothing that Durang Fang can do to save itself at this point right now. Vanguard Zombies is trash. It is trash. I'm not going to say anything more about this game mode because you guys already know that Cold War Zombies was a better game than Vanguard. Now, we also have the Christmas shipment map, which will be coming out within Vanguard. I'm really, I'm not really too stoked about it because shipment is already a mess, if I could say that. Shipment is not a good map to me anymore. I'm so tired of shipment, the spawn trapping, the sweats, the tryhards, the skill-based matchmaking all. Man, it's so toxic. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. The Christmas shipment map looks looks cool it looks really good but you got all the other bullshit that comes with shipment but i hope you guys all enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like share it with your friends and family i would appreciate it if you can do your part as well i'll be back with update 110 in the near future and we'll cover that update as well so stay tuned for more i'm gonna catch y'all on my next video peace out <laughs>